Okay, so I was on Bossy Texas Chicks YouTube channel yesterday, and the gentleman commented on whether an OTG cable works on the Huawei SN Mate 2. It does. I've sent my Huawei SN Mate 2 back to Texas to have them either repair or give me a brand new one. And they're probably going to give me a brand new one. That's most likely what they said they're going to do. But before I sent it back and realized what was wrong with that phone, it had a glitch in the screen and it was not good. Anyway, they're working with me. I should get a new one. I did download the Nexus Media Importer. That is an app you can get in the Play Store. It used to be free. It will not co now cost you, but it's not going to be that, that much. It's just a couple bucks, two, three bucks. But it's a very key element in making these OTG cables work. Not every device is compatible, but the Huawei SN Mate 2 is compatible, just like the Nexus Media or the Nexus 5. I've downloaded that app on the Nexus 5, and how you see it react to this phone is basically the same way it reacts to the Huawei SN Mate 2. I did it. was running some movies on it before I sent it back. So, I have some OTG cables. And please excuse my uh, video. You may see my fingers get in the way here. This I, It's really set up non-professional here. I'm just doing the best I can to... <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully uh, let this gentleman see. Um, my Project 13 is the channel that I'm posting these videos on. It's called My Project 13, capital M, Y, small y, capital P, small, R, O, J E C T one three. And what I have here, when you go to that channel, you're going to see this video. And you see, I have OTG cables, flash drives, uh, different type of flash drive. It's kind of cool. Connects to the back of your phone where you charge it. This is actually the little flash drive, and that's where it connects this little extension here. You can actually cover it and protect it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's use the OTG cable. You can buy these on Amazon for 10 bucks. It's a Kingston flash drive. You got 8, 16, and 32 gigs that you can buy. Uh, this one cost me 10 bucks for 16. I got a 16 gig PNY, and I got a large 32. Okay. This one right here, and I'm going to put the phone down here in my little stand. Okay. This right here is a little flash drive with an SD card attached to it. Pretty cool, micro SD, 32 gigabytes. Okay, it attaches right in there. Okay, and you're gonna watch. Let's turn this on. In the corner here, I have the Nexus Media Importer downloaded from the Play Store. I got it when it was free, and I've had it ever since, so I didn't pay for it, and now they charge you for this thing. So anyway, we're going to attach this down where you charge, and then you're going to see the red light come on. And you're going to see how the screen changed, and it brought up, and it says connecting. And then you'll see the files appear. And here they come. There they are. The way this reacted when I attached this OTG with a flash drive with the little SD card. But you can put this little Kingston guy, this flash drive with OTG cable, and it's all going to come on the same way. You go over to the left-hand side, you hit videos, uh, let's do a love cartoons. Touch Finding Nemo, MX Player, let's forward that a little bit. Walks up to a seat. Well, he doesn't walk up. He swims up. Well, actually, the mollusk isn't moving. He's in one place. And then the sea cucumber? Well, they... I mixed up. There was a mollusk and a sea cucumber. None of them were walking, so forget that I... Sheldon, get out! So you can see the little flash behind you, right, you kid. Oh, uh, you Again, I'm not set up professionally, so at some point in time, I get used to doing this, and everything should get a little bit better. A little more easier for me to do. Cute movie. Anyway, pull down the screen. Let's turn this around. There 
and that should switch around, but it's not. Anyway, there's a little disconnect here. Push that, and then you would pull that out. These all react the same way. Again, pretending that this Nexus 5 is the Huawei Ascend Mate 2, you're going to get the same reaction. Just a bigger phone, a lot more on that phone, but once you plug that in, it's going to detect it. Once you have that Nexus Media Importer downloaded in here, it will detect that, and it'll bring those files up, just like that. Um, all you have to do is touch that, and it brings up that screen, which belongs to the Nexus Media Importer app. That is the file itself that will allow these cables to work. And it'll pop up, and you can transfer, and it'll be self-explanatory with the settings and everything, how to transfer into the phone and out of the phone on these using these cables and that's what's cool it just doesn't read what's on these you can actually take your files pictures music movies from your phone and literally just transfer them onto these cables into the flash drive and feed that information in and that is what's so cool so um to that gentleman that i read the comment on whether this works on um bossy texas chicks youtube channel Props goes out to her. She's awesome. She does a great job on her reviews. Thank you for all your help. Appreciate it. To the gentleman out there, yes, it'll work. It's not that complicated. Okay? It doesn't work on some devices, but on most devices, yes, it does work. And I know that you can use an SD card that some phones take, and that's extra storage. But this is if you really want to go crazy and download just a ton of stuff. If you're going on vacation, short trip, whatever, um, you can just add a bunch of extra stuff to this and take the weight off your phone as far as the memory. Um, so your phone can run smooth. Um, and if you just don't want to be that type of person that wants to totally cram your phone full of stuff and information, using these works. And they're awesome. I mean, you can get them at the Amazon. You can buy them at your local tech store. But again... The Huawei SM82 does work using these. Um, if there's another way you can find them to work on your phone, then so be it. Whether it's a third-party app, whether there's another app in the Play Store I don't know about. But the Nexus Media Importer is the best app for me. It's what I have. It's what I have on my Galaxy Note 2. It's what I have on my Nexus 5. And it's what I'm going to put back on my Huawei SM82 when it gets back to me. And, um, and I can enjoy that large phone using these, using these, and... Um, having an SD card in there too. So um, it's a great way to go for extra media, extra milk uh, movies. I don't know why I said milk, but, um, you know, whether it's MP3, MP4s, um, it's just a great way to go. So um, OTG, flash drive, SD, extra, Nexus Media Importer, Huawei Senmate 2, it works. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. My Project 13 is the channel you'll be looking for that I'm under on YouTube to watch this video. Over and out.